You ready? All right, that smells like uh, firecracker or gunpowder. So let's take a look at one of these and see what makes it work. You know, I thought this might be some sort of an air gun, um, but you know, you look caution flammable, uh, TNT, uh, caution flammable. So there, there probably it's not uh, just air, but I thought we'd take it apart and see what we got here. Let's do that. Um, curious what makes them work. This uh, is just a piece of paper here on the bottom. A bunch of confetti looking stuff here. And then we have another um, kind of a seal in there at that point. So let's pull that out if we can. There's that uh, spacer or seal, whatever it is. And on the inside here, let's see if we can get a picture of that. On the inside, there's nothing but this, um, if you can see that, a uh, little white thing. So let's, let's take a look and see what that is. We'll just go ahead and take the scissors and cut this up to that point. And there's our fuse or whatever that thing is starting to get exposed there. Feel here. I don't want to pull the string all the way out because then it's going to fire and I'm not sure what the effect on my hand would be. We'll keep uh, Cutting it up here, just you can see the whatever the detonating thing is right there in the middle. You can see that, and the string is going into it. It looks like. Let's go pull that down a little bit more. Caution, flammable, TNT, and there we go. Got to get that, uh, see what that looks like there. I've got to get this little bit of string loose from this contraption. I don't want to pull the string at this point. I think that got it out. Yep. So this is what was inside of there. It looks like a little firecracker or something. Uh, but it's not. And it's interesting to see how this is shaped and formed. Um, that any pressure on the inside, even if it's a small amount of pressure, is going to come out this direction because of the constriction here. Even though if there's an explosion here, it has to blow out that side. This side is the least resistance side. So let's take a look at this and see what we have here. Well, there it is. Um, I'm going to try and unwrap it here. It looks like it's uh, a piece of paper wrapped around something. Okay. And there we have it. The uh, string sits in this little part here where this material is. This must be the TNT, this little bit of uh, stuff here. And it's, uh, 
it's wrapped around the string as well. Let's see if you can see it here. It doesn't want to unwind. But there it is, okay. So the string was wrapped into this uh, center part. Come on. Yay, 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 yay. Okay. String is wrapped into here, right? Like that. And then I think what happens when you pull the string is just a little bit of friction in here. And whatever this substance is, I, you know, it doesn't look like gunpowder to me, but uh, maybe it's uh, maybe it's TNT, huh? Can you see that? There it is, TNT, dynamite. And so when you pull the string, I think there's a little bit of friction there that causes a little explosion. Uh, inside that and that explosion then the force of it can't come out this end which is constricted so it has to blow out that end and I think these you know are just set in there just right so that they put the proper amount of resistance and and uh, but allow it to explode out this side the confetti comes out you know, this, this other end piece uh, pops out, the confetti comes out. This comes out, and, and there you go. That's how they work. And I know, if you know what this material is in here, um, well, let me know, because I'm not sure. Like I say, it doesn't look like gunpowder that I've seen in a traditional sense, but I don't know what gunpowder in a in fireworks really looks looks like, other than maybe a firecracker or something. So if you know what that is, uh, just drop a comment and let me know. I'd appreciate it. All right, that's how a popper pops.